Hi, my name is Tim Cannon. And I'm Sean Sarver. We are the development team for Grindhouse Wetwares. We're going to be showcasing some of the things that we've been working on, particularly version 0.1 of a device known as Bottlenose. We're doing tests and showing the footage of those tests, as well as in-depth reviews of how the device works, and we're also going to go over it for the layman. Uh, we hope you enjoy, and uh, we encourage everybody to comment, and uh, we encourage constructive criticism, as well as uh, any new ideas and innovations. Definitely. Thank you for watching. We're going to start off by giving you um, a little bit of background, um, especially in reference to what we mean uh, as this is a device built uh, by cyborgs, for cyborgs. Um, I had a neodymium magnet implanted in my uh, left ring finger, and I've been doing a lot of experiments with it, um, trying to see what kind of sensory input I can get. Uh, we started off with a simple infrared PIR sensor that was an on and off, and uh, once we got that working, we moved on to some more complicated stuff. Um, we basically, through various internet videos and our own innovation, um, we came up with a couple of useful and practical purposes, and this is our first stab at making something that's truly useful that is solely meant to interact with people who have implants. Um, so we hope you enjoy seeing some of this test footage. Uh, we hope you'll stick around for afterwards to take a look at some of the in-depth portions of the device. Uh, thanks for watching. and Tim Cannon from Grindhouse Wetworks working on object recognition for Project Bottlenose. We've uh, secretly placed a box in front of Tim while he was blindfolded and he's going to now try to identify where it is. When he f identifies it, he's going to reach out his hand and touch the object. There we go. Sean Sarver and Tim Cannon with Grindhouse Wetwares doing pro pro recognition, object recognition <laughs> test two with a medium sized object. Tim is blindfolded and I am blindly placing this test for him. All right, Tim, the uh, object has been placed. You can start the test whenever. When you, fee when you feel confident that you know where it is, reach out with your hand and touch it. There you go. Bottle nose object recognition test three with a small medium sized object. I'm now placing it blindly in front of Tim and now Tim, you can start your test. Awesome. House wet wear, wears. Um, bottle nose object recognition uh, test number four with small object. I'm blindly placing this in front of Tim. Already, Tim, the object has been placed. Whenever you are ready, you can start your test. Awesome. From Grindhouse Wetworks. Today we're going to look at the Bottlenose project. Bottlenose is a ultrasonic rangefinder device which sends its range finding information through an integrated circuit and outputs it to a coil 
which interacts with a magnet embedded in the finger. Simply turn it on, aim it around, and it will give you uh, distance information. That's about it. Thank you for watching. Again from Grindhouse Wetwares, and this is Bottlenose in depth. What we're looking at is the inside of Project Bottlenose enclosure. Right here we have the 9 volt battery. Right here we have a power supply circuit which steps down our voltage to 5 volts. Right here, where you can see the pointer, is the switch. You'll see that. Uh, you'll see more of that on the outside. And here is our um, ping sensor, which works on uh, ultrasonic frequencies. Here we come to the brains of Bottlenose. This is an AT Mega 328 IC chip. You probably see this status light over here. This is just letting us know that the chip is getting proper voltage and it's aligning. Down here you'll see the clock circuit. And over here where you see this transistor, this is the circuit for the solenoid. This is what allows us to feel the differences in distance at the uh, coil. Well, that's everything for Project Bottlenose. On the inside, we'll go to the outside next. This is that switch I was showing you from the inside. Give you a front view here. These are the ping sensors, the you know, receiver and sender. And the last exterior component of Project Bottlenose is the um, uh, coil, which is right now we're just using a um, 30 gauge uh, magnetic wire wrapped around a steel nail for a core. Um, that's uh, Project Bottlenose, and thank you for listening. situated wherever you want, and I will count down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, so hopefully you're in position. You are at the edge now. Good. Okay. So go ahead and reposition yourself. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alrighty, so this is a test to determine if you can tell things that are accelerating toward you or mm -hmm. deaccelerating yeah. away from you. That's right. Alrighty, I'm going to start moving now. Further. Closer. 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 Further. Further. Closer. Very close. Uh, moving away. Very, very far. Starting to get closer. Yep. Okay. Closer.
Getting closer. Very close. Very 